Chess friends, hello, welcome back to the grind. Another day of chess. Let's see how we can do. Playing a slightly higher rated opponent today. Um, so you guys are telling me that a possible response to e4 is black is c6, d5. So I'm going to experiment with that today. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm breaking new ground today. This is new for me. The opponent's um, slightly higher rated than I'm typically normally used to playing. Um, I've been getting paired up with a lot of people sort of in the uh, high 600s, low 700s, and Arbura 1 is about mid 700s, so we'll see how this goes. Hoping for the best. Okay, cool. So he declined my whatever it's called. <clears throat> Hmm. Not sure what the correct response to this is. Um, I do know that I want to get my light square bishop out and at least start letting him breathe. Um, I think the next moves are going to have to be something like e6, get, be able to get the bishop out somewhere, and then also be able to get the knight out something like e7 so i think i'm just gonna go f5 for now so far so good no complaints yet okay so we could just trade this off And really just start simplifying the game. Um, I mean, I don't know. This gets his queen out. So that's a possibility. Could also defend it with the pawn, but then I have this stack pawns here. Um, I don't know. I'll just keep it simple. He'll just retake with the queen. Okay, so his queen's out. Okay, so I want to be mindful to the fact that he doesn't have um, defender on g2 here. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, also, I need to start thinking about kind of castling, so I'll just develop a pawn. My queen can get out now, my dark square bishop can get out, so my pieces just have more room to breathe at this point. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of open space around his king. He's got basically two diagonals pointing towards his king here, so... He did just lock in his dark square bishop here too. So I wonder if I do something like h4, if this just completely locks his dark square bishop in. I don't know if it really matters so early, but it's just an observation. I do have the potential to just push something like c5. And get the bishop out this way too, but let's see. I don't want to get too hung up on this move. It's really early. The queen move is really early. Hmm. 
Let's just push a pawn. I also had check on a5 with the queen. I also need to be mindful that if I do get the dark square bishop out to something like c5, my g7 pawn will be weak. And then I'll kind of be forced to go e7 with the bishop and then castle as soon as possible. He's weighing his options. I hope he just takes with the pawn, honestly. That would be pretty ideal for me. I do like that my queen has options right now. That is nice. I'll just opt to go for the trade here. I can attack his queen after that and just get another piece out. He does have this option to check me, but it, I can block it pretty easy with c c6. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be silly if he wouldn't do that. So getting the knight out just seems like like the right idea. I'm kind of bummed that I just okay, so this knight's pinned. So that is something we need to keep in mind. I do have a nice check here. Hmm. This will force, well, let's see. Let's think about this. I wonder if I could just push a pawn up the board. That's kind of interesting too. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I have options here. I do feel like I have options. Obviously, you can't go there. Maybe it's time to just start playing developing moves. What would he play next? His bishop can't really get involved here all that well. Hmm. I could always just unpin the knight. That's an option. It just seems kind of slow. I'd rather get my dark square bishop in the knight out. Mm. And I don't really love c5. I guess if he pushes b4, I could always just take with the bishop and it would still be defended with the knight. <clears throat> Uh, feels risky, but I'll go for it. Okay. 
yesterday I was critiquing um, one of the opponents really hard about his time control. And it looks like I'm not doing any better today. <laughs> I was giving the opponent a hard time about spending two minutes or uh, on one move and then it was something like five minutes on two moves and now look at me. <laughs> I'm just trying to play cautiously here. I really want to break the losing streak. I'm... What is it? Three out of four games lost in the past two days on YouTube. Or something close to that. So I'd like to uh, mix that up a little bit. Okay, we'll see what the opponent does. He is thinking, thinking, thinking. Let's just examine the board from his vantage point and see what he would do. And he would do knight f3. <laughs> Didn't require too much thinking. Yeah, I want a castle. And just start getting... Just start getting stuff out, or uh, just uh, not getting stuff out, but just getting rid of this pin first and foremost. E7 seems like a good square because there's always F5 to follow up with, and um, he wouldn't really have a great move afterwards. So I also do have kind of a sick play here once I unpin this. So E7 it is. His rook is trapped here at the moment. His queen's not in the best of spots, if I'm being totally honest. Mm, so we'll see how that plays out. If my king wasn't pinned here, or rather, if my knight wasn't pinned. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a little bit unfortunate. So I did let my I did let my bishop hang. Um let's see, can't I just push a pawn and protect this? b6, a pawn defends, right? Isn't this just the play? Let me think about this. b6. I don't want to make a stupid move here. I don't want I don't want to do something that'll cost me the game. So obviously b7 is undefended. He's more or less forked these two pieces. So I have to protect the bishop and I have to bring this pawn into safety too. Yeah. And then the knight defends c6. He's made three queen moves already um, by move 11. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. He still hasn't developed two of his minor pieces. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Just think through some ideas. There'll be no reason not to castle here. I would love to just get my bishop out onto d4. But 
It doesn't look like it's going to be possible. D4 seems like a good next move. Um, also, some of the feedback that I've gotten in the past couple days, which I tend to agree with a lot, is that I'm very late to develop the rooks, uh, especially the rook that protects um, sort of the pawn on the other side of the board of the king, if that makes sense. So I, I typically have a very inactive rook in the corner here, the one that's not uh, the one that's not part of the king castle. So I want to keep in mind, I want to keep that in mind before I start launching these attacks, is that it may be a better idea. Um, so he's eyeing this square here. It may be a better idea to to develop these rooks before going in for attacks. Let's see. So he basically has a mate in one. So um, let's think about this. How can we protect h7 without pushing up a pawn? Is it even possible? This seems like a really bad idea. G6 just has to be the play, right? I don't want to push F5. You guys were telling me that stopping attacks by pushing the pawns up in front of the king so much was bad. But maybe G6 is okay. It at least stops the queen from coming in. And I can't protect h7 any other way. Okay. This seems like something I just have to do. <clears throat> so how can we start threatening? Part of me wants to just start harassing his queen. This also blocks the queen in, potentially. And it does still attack d4. So if we go knight f5... kind of do like this move here. Would I rather just push the pawn? Pushing the pawn just seems really passive. I like the attack on... I like the attack on the queen. Then I do have the potential for the fork as well. See how he responds to this. I'm mostly just hoping he, you know, obviously he's going to have to move his queen off of this diagonal. Um, so he won't be able to go e4, f5. So. I like the move knight f5, but I'm just not seeing a great follow-up afterwards. That's the only problem with that move that I'm seeing right now.
Maybe I should just block maybe I should have just blocked this pawn in from push pushing any further too. Hmm. Yeah, maybe h5 was the play to just prevent his pawn march. Okay, so I don't have the fork anymore. I do have the... No, it's not going to be... Or no, 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 no. Obviously, I can't go d4. Nothing's protecting the bishop there. Hmm. Am I kind of just forced to play this? H5, yeah, I really don't want him to open up the, um, the G file here. Then again, if he pushes his pawn, uh, I suppose that won't be the end of the world. Do I have like a good knight move or anything? Not really. Ugh. This move might come back and bite me. I really hope it doesn't. You never know. He still hasn't castled too, so um, I need to consider how I can start opening up the center since he hasn't... Uh, since he hasn't pushed here. Hmm. What does that do? Don't fully know where he's trying to go, but... Maybe I just start making advances. And the pawn push just seems too good, but okay, I really want to get my rooks more active. I want to at least try and put a rook on the same file as his king. Um, and then maybe as a bonus, I can try to get a rook on the same file as this queen, or at least try to get a rook on the file that we're going to potentially try to open up. Okay, so I'm basically just forced back here, so no reason to think too hard about this move. Um, he'll probably play a pawn push. Oh, okay, I'm surprised about that one. Uh, good move by, by him. He just won a pawn, which is a bit unfortunate. Or not a pawn, excuse me, a bishop. Hmm. Yeah, good move by him. I just blocked my bishop in, so that was rather rough. I wonder if I should just take. I don't know, even if I take with... Hmm. Yeah, this is rough because, yeah, once he takes, I mean, I can take back, but I wonder if there's just some other way that I can pressure him in the meantime. Uh, I really screwed this one up. I wonder what's less worse. On here, sort of getting rid of his furthest pushed pawn. Hmm. I have to find the least worst move in this position. Hmm. 
maybe b4. This just sort of opens up a lot of the board here. Gosh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just debating between d6 and b4. I don't know how much it really matters or not, but I mean, I have an easy retake with the queen, but then he can kick my knight next move too. Hmm. I think that's just going to happen no matter what though. Yeah, this is kind of a bummer move. I really messed up on those last two moves. Getting my bishop locked in there. Oh, I'll be shocked if he doesn't take this bishop. Yeah, I'm 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 really just shocked about that. I would almost rather just take his pawn here. Um, because eventually I'd like to get my bishop out uh sort of off to here. Uh, so I'm really just surprised about that. I would kind of almost rather just take the pawn in this case. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's the move. I, I honestly don't know if that's the move. I at least get a free pawn here. Well, not a free, it came at a cost, but... He might look into trying to add another attacker onto this knight. Um, that's why I think he might be a little, um, kind of a little bit hesitating here. Also do, uh, he's got a loose pawn here. Something to consider. Yeah, so oh, that, that move was basically expected. His pawn is pinned here, and there's potential for check. Yeah, so he's just defending his loose pawn there, or I guess that was hanging, rather. <clears throat> cool, so I could attack his pawn. He'll probably push up, I imagine. Um, looks like I can just fork here and take this pawn for free. So this is a bit of a forcing move. Just do a double check here. Yeah. I believe this is a good move that sort of equalizes the material count here. Interesting. Well, his knight is pinned here, but yeah, so I can't take anymore. Um, I don't really want to trade off either. I think now is probably a good time to start moving rooks. I do have this semi-open file here too. Um, I would like to put a rook. Hmm. Maybe I should think about defending this piece too. If he possibly decides to attack with the rook, I'll just protect with the queen here. But for now, I'll just throw a rook on the same file as his king.
I'll just push up. Obviously, I don't want to lose my queen here. Could always recapture with the knight, too. No. I was thinking maybe he, if he retakes with this queen, I can take this pawn. But I don't think that's going to work out so much. I'll just push a pawn up. His pawn is hanging here now too, so he'll probably need to add a defender. I can always just throw a rook out, try to attack that. Yep, so I can defend. Could defend one of two ways. Um, this is a possibility now. Next, I can sort of attack his queen. I can defend this bishop. This also adds another defender to d4 here. So nice little move here. And um, looks like I can take this pawn at this point since the knight's defending. Yeah, I'm going to go for the pawn. Uh, also, if he really wanted to take that, that would be fine with me. But um. See if I'm missing anything from this move. Don't think I am. If he wants to take, that's fine. I'll just recapture with uh, the knight there. He won't do that though. Yeah, he's playing too good to make moves like that. At some point, I kind of want to just drive this pawn up the board since uh, the rook is eyeing his king at this point. I need to get my rook out to d8. I may have this potential to play b7 with the queen and try to get sort of closer to his back rank. Try to start infiltrating his side of the board a bit more. He still has an um, undeveloped knight. It's probably one of his big weaknesses right now. He's got two connected rooks on his third rank, which is pretty good. I would like to start just simplifying the game and just start trading off honestly at this point. So he adds another defender or attacker to d4. So I have one, two, three. He's got one, two, three. I don't believe I can win this exchange. Maybe I just attack that. Pawn e3 is going to be like a really juicy move, right? So he took that. I uh, wasn't quite expecting that, but that's okay. Oh, 
I'm fine to trade off. I totally blundered there. He'll probably take. I have a free pawn though. If he does take with his knight. Hmm. Oh, nice move by him. I don't know if this is the move. I hate to break that pawn chain, but I'm worried. Oh, now he has a... I just threw the game. F6. Oh, no, 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 no. His knight is pinned. His knight is pinned. I really need to um, move my king so these two can't be forked. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I do have... Yeah, this knight is free. This knight is free. His, uh, his knight's pinned here. So I should have just taken the knight. That was a free knight. Uh, I really missed that tactic there. Uh, didn't notice the pin. A little frustrating, but yeah, and he's he just spotted it, so that's rough, but what can you do? Yeah, that was a free night. I think that would have not necessarily won me the game, but gotten me a lot closer to winning the game. Also, just do have pawn e3 here on the next move. Um, okay, cool. Um, I'll just focus on... I'll just focus on getting this pawn up the board, really. Oh, God. Oh, man, I just failed so bad. I just, I just failed miserably. <laughs> I did not notice that. That's that's really my bad. Free pawn. I'm going to just try to get this pawn up the board. What am I up? I'm up one pawn. It'd be hard for him to check me now. Um. 
Um, let's see, do I let him take that? No. Oh, but he does have... This does kind of just let him push, but he decides not to do that. That's fine. Um, I think I have to just... Guard these... Guard these pieces. We got one, two, three, one, two, three. Unfortunately, when he gets onto B8, he will have eyes on my G3 rook and his king's protecting. So maybe I have to just push his king away a little bit. I don't want my king ending up on g3. That's kind of the problem. Maybe I go something like f3 and then push the pawn up in case he goes g2. Yeah. I doubt he'll go g2, but you never know. Close game. This one's really, really dragging on. Um, let's see. As far as the game review goes, yeah. Okay, so he does do that. I may have to just sack the rook. He's gonna have a nasty diagonal. So, so boom, 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 boom. Don't really want to sack the rook yet. Hmm. Maybe it's time to go. Uh, let's see. I'll push up one square if he tries to block that in. This one's a real nail biter. Not gonna lie. I'm trying to get so much better at the end games. And games is where I tend to fall apart, but I am up a pawn, so I have to keep that in mind. Interesting. I don't really know what that did, if I'm being rank I have f2 next another move that just forces him around and probably g2 next Well, this just takes, we'll get his queen, but then, hmm. how do I, how do I get rid of his queen here? Maybe I just have to go block in. Maybe it's time to take his rook. This is a long game. 
I'm surprised it's gone this far. I also do have another pawn that I could potentially pass as well. Ooh. Could use a coffee break for this game. <laughs> if you're still here watching, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the game review really short on these. Um, It's not my intention to keep these videos this long, but it's sort of just the nature of these long time control games. Sadly. I believe I do just win. I either win his rook or I gain a queen here. Um, let's think about this. Well, if I block this in, well, he gave me the trade and I don't think the trade is the great, greatest idea. He's going to fork me, but then, yeah, I just don't want him to get the queen is the thing. So... I'll just block in for now. This is kind of the move that's going to make or break this game. I'll take, and I, I just really want to get my king to g2. His king can't go to these three squares. Hmm. Uh, but then he has this move, which is really annoying. Even then, I can always just go here, right? Okay, this is still fine. I'm still getting my queen out of this. Right? I need to remember that I can check him for some reason if I really need to towards the... Or I can check him if there is a reason to. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Yeah, for the game review, I'll just look at where the best and the worst positions were. Um, I don't want this video to drag on for forever. I don't know what he can do. Maybe his best hope is just to move his king over to f3 or something. Well, that works for me. That does work for me. He's probably just looking for a stalemate. I probably have to run my king around. Eh, I probably could have pushed the pawn there. Interesting. Hmm. What do I do here? Is he just playing for stalemate? Isn't there a potential for just mate here? Man, I really don't want to stalemate this, huh? Oh, he's still got plenty of moves. I get my queen out of this. I guess I don't. Isn't this just mate? All right, because these three squares are attacked. Isn't this mate? This is mate, right? Because let's think about this. So attacked, 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 attacked. If I slide up here, attacked, attacked, attacked. So this has to just be mate. Nice. Ooh, that was a sweaty game, man. <laughs> that was a sweaty game. <laughs>
I'll give him the GG. He played well there. He played well. Oh. Man. What a game. Wow. Lots of bad moves here. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the five good moves. That was great. Let's see. So he played like a 700. I played like a 950. Whatever you say, engine. Yeah, lots of inaccuracies, five great moves, one blunder. So let's look at sort of where the big swings and the positions were. Okay, so he shouldn't have taken my bishop here on move 31 because I had a free bishop. Yep, agreed. That was a mistake because that was a free pawn. This was a mistake. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but this was a free knight right here, right? Yeah. Um, if there's one move that I could sort of go back and just redo, it's this right here. I, I was so fixated on seeing that his knight was defending this knight, but, but failed to recognize this pin. Um, and then that also removes uh, the rook from sort of eyeing his uh, my my rook here too. So this just would have been such a killer move here. This is a blunder, huh? Uh, yeah, this is a blunder because I basically just gave him um, a free rook. So this is my worst move, I would say. I, I just failed to notice that. Um, I was so tunnel visioned on this rook um passing this pawn that i just i failed to notice that so really bad move there but what would have been a better move here rook c5 interesting mm. so still keeping his knight pinned okay um let's see okay so e3 was a bad move let's see if there was anything else here yeah i had a big advantage here and kind of gave it away yeah really bad move there but um yeah oh sure so attacking his pawns here i see yeah i failed to ignore these pawns for a really long time oh, okay let's look at the next miss Interesting. Man, the engine really wanted the rook on the b-file and just getting rid of this pawn, huh? Okay. Maybe you guys can leave me a comment as to why the rook should really be targeting this b-file so much. Um, obviously it's because he can get a pass pawn, but I sort of figured he can just defend it with his rook too. That was my reasoning there, but maybe I wasn't seeing that. Maybe you guys can let me know. Um, I don't want to spend too much time thinking about it on my own. But uh, let's see where the misses were here. This misses an opportunity to attack fully when a rook. Let me just see if I played out this string of moves correctly here. This is a great move. Yeah. I figured if he uh, passes his pawn, I was getting a queen out of this. And then I figured I would have the advantage. I figured him trading off rooks here just seemed too good to be true. Because what I saw happening if I traded this off was takes and then there is there would be the potential for him to you know at least have a queen on the board and i was just trying to avoid having uh having him have a queen so that was the idea there and then passing this pawn was not going to be too difficult the reason why i went a7 was because uh I didn't want to get into a stalemate position 
where his king just couldn't move because my rook was on this file. I didn't think it all the way through, but that's just what was going through my head. I'm surprised that this is so bad. Oh, I had like a, a faster mate here. Oh, rook e7. Interesting. And where's he forced to go? G1. Now rook f7. King h1. Ah. And then mate. I see. Okay. Good to know. Awesome. Well, yeah, this is a really fun game. Went a little bit longer than I hoped. But um, yeah, if you stuck around, thanks for watching. And um, this is a happy day for me. Finally broke the losing streak. Um, I was having a rough couple of days with the YouTube videos uh, this week. So this is kind of a nice turnaround. And the opponent was a bit higher than I'm used to playing. So um, yeah, and just a little confidence boost. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.